Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a recipe for, I guess you'd call it curried cauliflower. You'd bake it in the oven and, anyway, you'll see. But uh, let me know if you like these kind of videos. I would be more than happy to do some more. So if you want to learn how to make some healthy vegetable goodness, please keep watching. Okay, first step in doing roasted cauliflower is to cut off all of the greenery from the bottom, like I've done here, so that it's kind of flat. And then you put it in your pan. And we're going to set our oven to 375. Get that all heated. And while we're waiting for that, we're going to prepare the sauce to put over top. Okay, so in my sauce, I'm going to be putting... Um, a cup of Greek yogurt, some salt and pepper, uh, some Italiano mixed spices, and a little bit of cumin, and a teaspoon of lemon juice. I didn't have any real lemons, so there we go. And three cloves of chopped garlic, as well as some onion powder. I didn't remember to pull that down. So I'm going to add that all together and mix it up and I'll show you what it looks like when that's ready to go. Okay, so here we are all mixed up. I forgot to mention, there is a little bit of olive oil mixed in here, like, like half a teaspoon, not even, as well as some olive oil in the bottom of the pan, just so that your cauliflower doesn't stick. Okay, so now what we're going to do here is make sure the camera focuses there we go and we're going to put this on here and pretty well just smother it in the sauce this is a very low cal um low fat all of that good stuff Now, if you're really particular, if you're not using dairy, I'm sure you can use um, a dairy substitute, and it'll turn out just fine. It, basically, what you need is something uh, moist on the cauliflower while it's baking. So, as you can see, I've got quite a lot on here but that's what makes it nice and tender and yummy. And then whatever is left in the bottom, like sauce-wise, after it's done cooking, you can totally use it to dip, um, you know, the parts that don't get any when it's cooking. Sorry, I'm doing this um, one-handed, so I apologize for the shaky camera. Anyway, so you get the idea. So it's all nice and covered now. Put that aside. Now we're going to put this in the oven at 375. Check, check. For 45 minutes. 